Hi, welcome to Narish IT. This is Kishore, and now I am going to go give the example on destructors in inheritance. Okay, in previous sessions we have discussed how the constructor is working. Okay, I have given two examples for default constructor as well as parameterized constructor. Now I am going to give the example for destructors in inheritance. Okay, we have discussed that. Already we have discussed on topic. What is that? Default constructor of base class implicitly bind with the default constructor of derived class. Okay, default constructor of base class is implicitly bind with the default constructor of derived class implicitly. Okay, due to this, what happens when derived class object is created? First of all, base class constructor is working. Later, derived class constructor is working. Okay, now the quite opposite manner the destructor is working. The destructor of base class, the destructor of base class implicitly bind with the derived class destructor. Okay, it is important point. The destructor of because of we are not having any default destructor, parameterized destructor, we are having only destructors, only destructor. Okay, that is why here the destructor of base class implicitly bind with the derived class destructor, but here the point is constructor okay, bind with the constructor in first line means base class constructor bind with the derived class constructor in first line, but uh, base class destructor is the last line of uh, derived class destructor. Okay, remember this here the base class destructor, the base class destructor is the last statement of a derived class destructor. Okay. That is why first uh, which one is executed? Derived class destructor is executed later okay, base class destructor is executed. That means, the constructors and destructors are following stack concept means stack LIFO concept last in uh, first out okay last in first out like this they are working now i am going to show you example for destructor okay okay first common header file hash include iostream.h next uh, hash include conio.h next uh, class i am going to create for example it is the base class okay now i am going to create the base class okay fine now the base class in public zone okay we know that the constructor and destructor should be declared the constructor and destructor should be declared in public area that's why public area and now i am going to start a destructor base okay and we know that every destructor should have to start with uh, okay this uh, complement operator generally we are calling okay constructor with uh, this operator is called what actually base function with this operator is called what destructor okay tilde operator generally it is known as tilde operator everybody knows that is why here base base is the class name followed or preceded by okay preceded by tilde operator which is called destructor now it is the destructor okay later simple mechanism means simple method i am going to write Mac c out base class destructor okay and l that is all suppose i am going to write like this and now the class is completed see this very simple class is there class name base public and here it is the destructor of base class and it is having only one statement base class destructor okay fine now i am going to create derived class okay it is the derived class class derived public base class now the meaning is what this class is derived this class is derived from this base class okay now it is the derived and once again public okay in public area i am going to write one more destructor of derived class okay now it is called tilde operator and derived okay now 
tilde operator derived. It is called what once again destructor of which class derived class ok. Uh, now, here I am going to write some statement like this C out derived class destructor ok. Here we can use slash n either and l both no problem at all. Now, close class also close. Uh, here watch this it is the base class base class having only one destructor. Now, it is having base class destructor matter and derived class derived from base class and it is having only one destructor ok fine. Now, two classes we are having ok. Now, what happened actually when this class object is derived automatically this destructor will become the last line of this program ok. When the object of derived class is created for example ok it is the main now main function ok first uh, CLRS here common thing. Now, derived D suppose it is the what object of derived class object of derived class next uh, bracket close uh, now what happened derived D is the object now ok. Now, bracket is going to close means what now the block is closed when the block is going to close the destructors of derived class is working means what it is working answer derived class destructor that is why first output is derived class destructor ok fine and next line. Now, what happened when this derived class destructor means object is going to close here already base class is having a destructor now automatically it binds with the derived class destructor in last line in last line means what here implicitly it is also added base colon colon base that is all that means what happened now now it is the dir base class destructor actually we have added no ok we have not added the base class destructor it is bind implicit by the compiler it is bind implicit by the compiler that means actually this line is not added by the programmer it is automatically added that is how what happened first derived class destructor is printed now we are having base class destructor now that is how it is going to print base class destructor base class destructor that is why your program answer is first derived class destructor later base class destructor, but actually there is no need of this one ok. We are not calling this one it is conducted by the compiler implicitly ok that is automatically base class destructor also working that is why your program answer is derived class destructor first later base class destructor, but in constructor what happened base class constructor first executed later derived class constructor that is why I said constructor and destructor follows LIFO concept lost in first out ok. It is how the destructor is working in inheritance ok. Thank you, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.